Uh, will the Barangay Legends. live up to their name as the comeback kings and extend the series to a game number three? Or will Aurora sweep them and reclaim glory as the top seed of our tournament for week number two? Egan here joined by Naisu. Yes, sir. And looking at the lineups, Naisu, what do you think about the Renegade Cho? What's He's that back. saying? Yeah, what's that What's that famous saying? Baka Renegato? Baka Renegato. What does that mean in English? Baka Rene... Like, um, we gotta explain it because people type it in okay. the chat too. Sometimes. If I'm gonna explain it, it means... Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. I, 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 <laughs> there's no there's no exact translation, but Renegade will show what he's capable of. And we've been saying Renegade has been improving, has been developing as a player, as yeah. a captain. But sometimes it's nice to go back to your roots. Yes. Right? The Cho, once again, he's known for this he even is. back in the day. Very flashy. Uh, you know, you guys can think about the, the flashy TikTok plays and everything else, but that's part of it. And after what he did in the previous game, he's on fire right now. He's got the momentum. So we'll see if the answer from a Cap Mamba, the captain, Chak Mamba, is going to be able to pull something off. Now, the difference is obviously he can only focus on one target. You know, yeah. he's not going to get four or five man oh. implosion over in the mid lane. Whoa! Talk about the damage! Already as Demon Kind also pairs up with it and gets the first blood. Oh, that's not the start you're looking for if you're Andoryu. You have a lot of options to get a kill, especially your Nolan. A lot of squishy heroes for Aurora, but this time, what an outplay. And really, Renegade is really ready for that Nolan pick. He knows that most of the time Andoryu will stay in the middle lane bush. That's why he needs to rotate fast. If there's no action yep. in the XP lane or in the side lanes, let's go back to the mid lane. Yeah, and I think part of that too is, you know, you don't want to get behind, at least in a, an assassin versus assassin jungler matchup. Yeah. You know, we saw Endoryu trying to make the Frederick work in the previous game. It did for a little bit, and then it fell off. And that's kind of, I guess, the case or the theme of this the current meta that we're seeing here. You, you die early on, it sets you back a little bit, and now it makes it a little tough. Like, do we actually go and fight for this turtle now? Are we in the position to do that? Chaknu does have the Hylos. We've seen Hylos do amazing things uh, throughout the course of even this G just week alone. Yeah. But they're not going to start it up. Uh, as long as he has the Revitalize and the Glorious Pathway, there's always an opening for Omega to contest for these neutral objectives. But we have to point out that Yue has the Frigid Glacier as well. So one beautiful knockup from Nenjay. Renjay paired up with the Frigid Glacier. It could be it could be the end for Omega in coming into this first turtle. Okay, here they go. Setting up once again. Renegade gonna go in. There's the flicker combination! And they respond to the Frigid Glacier! Everything being thrown down! Spirit of Destruction! Gonna find the connection too! Still fighting in the mid lane! Demon Kind in trouble! Has to get out of there! And amazingly, it's only Renegade that goes down, but maybe Jack News next! He has enough heal Whoa. to get away! Imagine all the ultimates of Aurora connecting, starting off with a kick from the Renegade, and then the Frigid Glacier plus out of nowhere. Penalty zone, but oh. Yue flickers in onto Andoryu. He's going to zone him out. It's not your turtle, basically. It, it's not your... It, this is ours. That's what he's saying. We're going to go ahead and continue it on, and this just looks like turtle going to the hands of Aurora. They worked for him, man. It took them a while, but hey, they secured it up, and Andoryu's got to go back to base. While well, the rest of the team kind of... <laughs> Keeps tabs on his purple buff. Look at Renegade. Already <laughs> almost at the base of Omega, making sure that uh, Andoryu doesn't have a peaceful time in his own jungle. I'm still baffled by what Aurora did. A lot of ultimates committed just to... Oh! oh. Wow! Oh my goodness. Dome. A thief. Not in the night. A thief on the top lane. <laughs> Dome instincts. Wow. I if you were playing, could you even time that? Like, yeah. I don't know, man. I oh like gosh. I. I am not a Moscow main, but I'm. You know what? He probably had some form of information. Hey, just take the hail mary, throw the spear of destruction. That's the benefit of having a Renegade as a show. The information that he gets. Again, he was spending a lot of time in the purple buff in the jungle of Omega. And, wow, those are the things that you do. Uh, if you do, you're a good roamer. Not just the setups, not just making sure that you get you, you be the sandbag of the team, but actually give information. Yeah. And with the information Aurora is getting, they're on the roll right now. See, Doming already picked up a corrosion site up against a Claude. And so far, all their ultimates are connecting. 
like still that's the crazy thing because even with the vision like you still got to time it you know what i mean like yeah. that's part of it too and <laughs> yeah, exactly. with with this purple buff he's just chilling he's he's having a hell of a time in the top lane honestly the vision is the easy part yeah. <laughs> for, for me if i had a million tries none of it would connect that's how it uh, that's how highly mechanical that play was and only a few people can do it and in this case doming is one of those few people yeah, again, great uh, great timing here, but Rora getting themselves a nice lead. This sets them up for a great turtle here, man. Like, again, with everything they've done, Ren and it's Jay. nothing too flashy. Renna J going to get spotted out. He used the conceal already. So maybe Smart Omega can do something with this, too. Renna J, though, that will hold them back. He's going to jump in with the way the dragon find it. Ukir has to flick around. Finds the frigid glacier. Going to freeze down Renna J, but he's out of there. Glorious pathway to cut them off from engaging a little bit further. And so they go and reset, but it looks like Smart Omega will go ahead and take control of the turtle. And three, th uh, three ultimates taken here by Aurora. So this time Omega has the advantage, but Demon Kite is still here. He's gonna pick up that oh turtle no. for Ondoryu. Demon but look Kite? at Demon Kite. Oh, I thought he was gonna actually be able to get Ryota. Oh! Uh, these, if if Domeng would've gotten that, it, he, we just talking about- He's a god. Yeah. <laughs> this is his game. His game, all the shots are falling so far for Aurora, but this is the perks of having a high loss with the Revitalize. Despite the heavy, aggressive plays that Rene J did, they were still able to survive the attack that Aurora did. But here is the problem for Omega. The split capability of Aurora is just, is just hard to deal with. Again, they have the Ling and the Moskov. Yeah, look at this. Focusing on this bottom side. It's almost like Smart Omega has to start to force some situations, you know, force their own, play around the power spikes that they can hope for. Because right now, Aurora putting the pressure on the top side, it looks like no one's even going to be able to answer Domang up there. They're trying to make a play down bot here, putting the pressure once again. Glorious Pathway going to be dropped down. They freeze him down on the turret. Damon Kite joins the fight. Tempest Blade is going to be popped too, just trying to clear things out. And Aurora will hold on to the tier one. Oh, that, that was a trade Aurora was willing to take. Edward for two turrets in the top lane. They actually left Doming alone just to farm up and extend oh. their uh, control. But look at this Renegade in the midst of everything. Still able to escape. Man, this is exactly why even the panel was pretty hyped when uh, they locked in the Cho for Renegade here. He's, you know, if you've been a fan of Rene J, at least just as a player, you see so many of those highlights. Him playing this Cho pick, whether he has the flicker or not, he's most likely going to force a play. You know, I'm still thinking of a translation for the famous line, Baka Rene J, though. I still can't get over it. This is Rene J? I this don't is, know. It's like, not this is Rene Don't forget this is Rene J. It's something like that for our international viewers. Just search it online and you guys will understand. Yeah, yeah. Or, you, or you can <laughs> message Leo. Leo probably knows the translation for that, but for now, Omega really wanting to force Clash here. Chaku. Oh, Boy. there it is again. Look at the Edward just getting taken out. Even with a Body of Smith passive, gets overloaded with damage. Chak new on the hunt now, but he's not going to be able to catch Renegade. Just forces him back. No one, they have the numbers advantage. They'll start it up. Domang trying to get in position. He's got the information. There's the kick. It's right on target. Renna J's gonna Go! get punished here. Tempest of Blades are gonna be used. Domang out of the picture. And now Demon Kite getting frozen. And Doru will pick up a double. And Jack New will clean up the kill on Yue. And the Lord is for the taking for Smart Omega. An unofficial wipeout for the Barangay. And gets the Lord as well. Started things off with a beautiful pickoff onto Edward. He wasn't able to cast that uh, Primal Wrath. That's why this happened. And looking at the instant replay, a lot of isolated clashes happened here. But this is the importance of Shaq Mamba with the Hylos. The Glorious Pathway was the key, plus the Revitalize for the sustain that Omega had, despite the high damage capabilities that they have. And of course, Joma as well with a crucial Blazing Duet. He was able to take down two. But most importantly, bring down Domic. Oh, and with this kind of shift in momentum here, Egon, look at this. Rene Chase up top. Domic joins the fight with the Spear of Destruction on Andoru. They're trying to stop the push here. They still got to deal on multiple fronts. Midway pushing in. They're looking oh. to sandwich them in. Jack New joins the fight. Rene J will get out. Domic no doesn't. Domic will get a kill before ultimately getting taken out. So at least that 
Lord also worked on by Demon Kite, and they're back to it. Smart Omega though, swinging things still in their favor as they focus the tier two. So far that's still worth it for Aurora. And Doryu for Domeng, plus they weren't able to utilize that first Lord. So still, Aurora manages to defend the possible onslaught coming in from Omega, and this is what you can expect from Demon Kite. They're losing the 5v5 clashes, so he really has to manage the waves in split push. This is the downside of playing against the Hylos. Your exit plan kind of gets stopped yeah. with a glorious pathway. Like, it's so much harder to think like, all right, how are we going to exit out of this area when that's dropped down in front of you? And so at some point, you kind of just got to decide like, hey, I'm just going to fight this, you yeah. know? And even if you try to escape the glorious pathway, there's always the frigid glacier coming in from Ukir. Exactly. So it's really hard for Aurora to battle out those 5v5 skirmishes right now if those ultimates are still uh, able to expend. But this time, this is what we've seen with Shaq Nu back in week number one when he unleashed the Hylos. 305 as a roamer. I mean, look at that. I still got to say, <laughs> man, it's, it's the battle of the roamers here. That was the story we came into this matchup. And it's been phenomenal up to this point. Again, Renage. Crazy setup in the previous game, and this time around, Chaknu is having his game uh, on the high lows. Especially the fact that you know we talk about this all the time, especially when it comes through the draft. Like, how do you burst this high lows down? How do you deal with the fact that he provides so much utility to any lineup he's put on? It's, it's going to be hard again. A lot will rely on to Doming. Make sure he doesn't get caught up. A while ago, the previous clash. He was pinned down by Jome, and I believe it was, I'm not sure if it was Shakna or Ryota. So this time, Doming really needs to be super Doming. He needs to play safe. <laughs> Dish out the damage and make sure that he's protected as well. Well, remember, he is, yesterday, he was uh, put up there with the other Bulletproof, right? Bulletproof, of Marco. course, Super Marco. Conceal going to be used. Trying to spot some out, get some vision here too. They find Renegade. They're going to spawn out Edward. Demon Kite. Just kind of poking Chaknu there, so both teams are going to kind of push and pull for this Lord here. A while ago, we've seen Renegade actually at his comfort zone, being able to go to the opposing team's jungle, but this time, it's Chaknu's game. It's Chaknu's time. It's Chaknu's timer. He's not even afraid to go 1v3, 1v5, because he has the sustain, plus the revitalize, and this time, they're going to deprive oh, a Demon Kite the of the purple in. buff. Riota goes in, they find Edward. He's going to use the flicker already, and now the fight for the purple buff. Bridget Glaciers are going to be used. And Chaknu, the rest of the team, will go back. That was a good setup. Now, what do they do with it? Domeng still pushing top. If they continue to stay here around the Lord, they're going to get pushed into the base turret. Someone has to mine Domeng here, or they could just really burst down the Lord right away. But again, this is still a Ling. There it and is. Oh! Wow. You don't even get a chance to breathe. And, Dor and Doryu gets a kill, and now... They're just going to be able to take this Lord, I think. They, they, they did send Jom up, but still, Demon Kite. I'm not sure if he's going to try to pull something of a miracle off here, but it's way too late. Lord secured for Smart Omega. As Andoryu picks up the Malefic Roar, you can feel Omega right now. They know that it's their time. It's their game. They're moving as a one unit. It's, it's like having five bodies with one mind. Every single time that Chaknu lead this, uh, leads the charge, one stun is all they need to burst down any member of Aurora. And if you're Aurora, w what do you do? Do you do you react to the team fights or do you just result to those split push that Domin that, that Demon Kite and Domin can do? Yeah, this is I mean good questions here. And a part of it too is like what does Edward do in this situation? You know, he's 0 and 3. He's getting bullied, he's getting targeted down. You don't get any usage of the penalty zone. And so this might be it. Lord make its way. Oh. Conceal. Are we going to be used? Going to force it in. Glorious Pathway going to drop two. Trying to hold on to the base turret. Mid lane is going to be worked on, though. Renna J has to get out of there. Riota will already fall down. So they hold on to the top turret for now. But the mid turret push is there. It's in. Fracture going to be used. And that might be all. Smart Omega gets. Oh, Renna J. Renna J. Is he actually going to pull the trigger on this? Goes oh. in. Goes in with the kick, but he's all by himself. And the Spear Destruction way too late. That was off timing from Renegade. He was too fast. The Hitman was too fast and now has to suffer the consequences. The Glorious Pathway will be casted here. But no minion so oh. far, but Adori goes in. Adori! And the follow-up from Ukir. The synergy seems like it's flipped over in this game number two. Not just the momentum, the synergy. As you mentioned, and now Demon Kite. 
He's really resorting to avoiding the clashes just to split push and manage the wave. But the problem is Omega. They're really forcing to push here as they take down an inhibitor in the top lane. Demon Guide has to be oh. in the final clash. Domain, good damage here on Akira and Jome. Brennan J to ZX. Demon what Guide! Is again, Demon Guide joins the fight. Tempest of Blade's gonna come down. They'll be able to find you, I check you. Trying to get out of dodge, but he's gonna be chased down by Demon Kite. And now, revitalize the triple kill on Demon Kite. Rora will run it down the mid lane. They get the tier oh. one, and Doru goes and cleans up Demon Kite. You won't touch the purple buff. And he goes back to the base, but is it enough? Three members here, and they call it off. Again, the tension here between the two no. teams. I think Omega actually stayed too long there in the top lane, in the middle lane, but a heads up play coming in from the whole squad. The trust onto Demon Kite that he'll, he'll manage to do something. Pick off the two most squishy heroes on the side of Omega, but still Andor, you still. He, he's managing the momentum shift coming in from Aurora as he tries oh. to take it, get the purple buff here. Oh. Penalty zone's not gonna connect. Edward, that's not gonna work, you know? I know he's, he's trying to go for the catch there, trying to lock him down. Andorra, though, will put pressure there. And unfortunately, no penalty zone right now. I'm wondering if that information is enough for Smart Omega to be like, let's at least start this up, see what happens. I, I think he was supposed to uh, click the flicker there, just to make sure, but Renner J on the other there hand here. Look at Jack New. Conceal going to be used. Where is he going to put the pathway? Renner J oh, being chased play. down, has to flicker out. So a battle spell going to be expended. Look at the push, though, on the other side of the map. Domeng still putting pressure on the map. Okay, so now Andoryu, they know that Andoryu had to go away, had to go home and defend the minions here for the potential push coming in from Domeng. And this time, Aurora actually has the gold lead, 2.2k. UA got the glorious pathway. So this can be a big final uh -oh. skirmish here. Andoryu's not there. Penalty zone finally going to find the connection. UA drops the cutoff. And now Demon Kite secures the Lord. You're going to have to run, though, because here's Andoryu. And now, Tempest of Blades are going to be used, but they might have to just back off. Smart Omega, full force in. They know the base turrets are down. Can they push this one in? They, they got the Lord, though, so I think they can still defend this. But the problem is Edward is nowhere to be found, but five members of Omega are still here. Spear Destruction is going to be used. Glorious Pathway as well from Yue. Trying to just clear the minions out. Dome. Wait for time. Dome goes in. Blazing Duet will clean up Yue. Lord's finally going to spawn up. That might have bought Kite. them enough time as Demon Kite goes to look to cut the wave in the mid. Demon Are they going to crash down? Jome is low, but it's a little too risky. Okay, Ren and Jay, Demon Kite, Doming left to defend here for Aurora. Demon Kite has to join the picture here. Next wave's pushing in. Tempest of Blades using it to clear out the minions. And that might be it, unless they do something Domeng. about it. Doming's going to jump in. They get the glorious pathway out from Jack New, and now Ren and Jay on the hunt, used the conceal, was looking to go over the wall, but Demon Kite's still waiting. What does the team do here? Domang, though, the immortality gets popped from Andoru, and they have to reset it all. The discipline from a Demon Kite. He, his target was there. Joan was low, but he, he knows that Chaknu still has the revitalized, still has the stun. So, high pressure game for both of these two <laughs> teams. If, if I were in Demon Kite's place, I, I, would, I would jump from the Finch Poison and <laughs> try to kill Jome. That's why I'm here. Uh, I don't have the discipline to play like that. Again, top competitive MLBB happening between the two teams here. Smart Omega top of the standings right now in Season 14. And finding it difficult to punch this one in, possibly get them to a game number three against Rora. And as much as, you know, even Edward has struggled, we just saw earlier from the team fight, a penalty zone can change the course of a team fight. Yeah, and it did, actually. It got, I, I don't know how many they killed, but they were able to delay the push of Omega. In fact, they still have two turrets in the bottom lane. And this is actually good, because the Lord side is on the bottom side. Yeah. So their, their waves are manageable. They can still contest for this third and potentially final Lord. 30 seconds away. Taking it nice, easy, and slow. They don't want to make a mistake. Ren and Jay, very crucial in this. At this point in the game, 20 minutes in, one-off mistake on this Chol. 
you could actually get just deleted here from this lineup that Omega has. Uh, but they're going to force Renegade back, too. At this point, it's a matter of who is the better captain. Who is the better shot caller? Is it Shock Mamba? Or in this case, the hitman, Renegade? Who will lead their team to victory? Will, will we see a sweep from Aurora? Or will Omega once again prove that they are the comeback kings and this Lord might be the key for both of these teams? And a conceal coming in from Chak, leading the charge. Oh, they want to go for UA. Chak do goes in, Ryota flickers too. They won't find anything. But they do get the response from the away. He took the glorious pathway himself and he expended it. So is that enough? Smart Omega will go ahead and get in position for the Lord here, but they still have to watch out for the counterplay. A flicker expended for Ryota as well as Yue and uh, as well as the two glorious pathways. And now Omega really controlling the Lord here. Jones goes in. Oh! DMI! Jones goes in. Oh. Is that half health? Runaway's gonna get frozen. Spirit destruction goes in. Finds the mark. Domek joins the fight. But he's waiting for the front line as Chak New runs him down. Joan gets in trouble as Demon oh. Kite gets the kill. Demon and Kite. now Edward in trouble. Chak New so tanky. He's going to find Domeng and take him out. Demon Kite trying to do the same. It's a back and forth. But it's only the Mamba left alone as Demon Kite got a triple. Now they have to push the middle lane here as well as the bottom lane. Because in 46 seconds, Omega's death timers will respawn. Shaknu, the captain, left to fend for himself. Yue Demon Kite leading the charge in the bottom lane. Yue takes his own pathway. Is this the pathway to victory here? It's going to be dropped down. Shaknu does his best to clear out the minions. Rest of the team still waiting to come up here. He's going to buy another 10 seconds. Oh, he has enough damage, at least for now, but he's going to get targeted down as Demon, Demon Kite picks up the kill. They're gonna clear out the mid turret. Jump, 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 jump. Up in two seconds, but it might be too late as Rora works on the base. Do they have the minions? Penalty zone comes down. Jump tries to clear the base, and he does it. He defends with a triple. The Barangay. The Omega timer is in full effect. Shaknu with the crucial diversion play. He diverted the attention of the minions to the middle lane. That's why it bought enough time and Omega full force on the middle lane. Big J, and now on the chase for Rena J. They want the game three. Rena J doesn't go down yet, but they run it down the mid. Smart Omega focusing on the base. The Omega, it's up to him. He pushes Okir back, but they claps on him down. And Smart Omega.